Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is John Denton uh, and welcome to a new little series that's going to be on the channel and it's quite simply called We Need to Talk. Um, right now, we need to talk about Mr. Kanye West. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, as I'm sure you've seen, Kanye West held a sort of presidential rally, I guess you'd call it a campaign rally, in South Carolina where he said some of the craziest things that he said in a while. I'm not going to say some of the craziest things he's ever said because he's arguably said even crazier stuff than this in the past. And understandably and obviously there has been a huge social media outrage about all of this and a lot of people are, are, are done with the guy or at least expressing the fact that they're done with the guy through social media and I can totally understand why. Just quickly to give a bit of backstory on, on what's happening. He holds this presidential rally. This is after a few weeks after basically announcing his attentions on social media and then being interviewed uh, in Forbes magazine uh, and kind of outlaying the fact that his party is going to be called the birthday party and some of his policies and a lot of it's about God and there's some anti-abortion stuff and it was a pretty intense article and you know I thought about making a video on that and I decided against it but this just feels like it, it's kind of gone to another level. Now um, two main clips have come out from this rally one of which I won't really focus on too much, but the other one uh, I think is the is the most controversial one, and the one that's that's really made the most headlines is him talking about Harriet Tubman. When Harriet Tubman, well, Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves; she just had the slaves go work for other white people. Y'all, we leaving right now. Uh, and saying that ultimately Harriet Tubman didn't free slaves, didn't free black people because they ultimately went on to work for white people and it was said in a, in a kind of high energy intense fashion and it, it with no nuance no subtlety very little context and very little else to kind of back up what he's saying and i think you can't obviously in this climate go around saying something as crazy as that obviously if you're not aware you don't need me to tell you about harriet tubman one of the most important figures in the whole uh, emancipation movement i guess you want to call it in america a woman who freed so many slaves. I mean, just checking the Wikipedia, um, made some 13 missions to rescue approximately 70 enslaved people, including family and friends, through like a, a network. One of the most important people in the entire civil rights movement, and somebody who has a understandably and correctly legendary status in American culture. I was going to say Black American culture, but in American indeed global culture, I would say. I am sure for anybody to hear something like that said about her is crazy for the black American people to hear anything said about her must cut deep and it's easy for me to talk about this in a different way because it doesn't cut as deep for me as a white English guy, it just doesn't. It's extremely controversial, it's a crazy thing to say. But obviously it's just not somebody that you say something like that about so casually, so nonchalantly. But I'm not going to defend what Kanye West said, don't get me wrong. <laughs> do not get me wrong. I do understand perhaps the point he's trying and failing to make because he doesn't have the vocabulary, he doesn't have the nuance, he doesn't have the context, he doesn't have the information about uh, potentially, you know, true black freedom. And I think this is also what he was trying and failing to say when he was talking about slavery being a choice. Hear about slavery for 400 years? For 400 years? That sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? What I really want to focus on is the fact that this is a man that clearly needs help. He clearly needs some assistance, he's clearly not well. Now, I'm no amateur psychologist, I'm an amateur doctor, but when a man has explicitly spoken about being bipolar, about suffering from bipolar disorder, a disorder which causes manic outbursts, huge, huge polar opposites in mood and behavior, plus the evidence of Kanye West's behavior over the years doing this, whether it's the Life of Pablo launch, whether it's producing an entire album in Yay, which talks about being bipolar and also on the front cover, no less. And these are very disturbing and hard listen still, even at seven tracks long. Going back even further, you can look at different moments. And also bear in mind, this is somebody who was in an extremely violent car crash, however many years ago that was. I mean, you know, I know people who were hit by cars and their whole personality changed. Regardless, I'm not justifying this, but I think it's fairly clear to say, given the evidence that we have, that he is currently going through another one of these manic episodes. It's just the energy that he was carrying on stage, the energy when he's talking about pro-life, anti-abortion stuff as well. And this isn't a political channel, I'm not going to go into that side of things. And obviously that's extremely controversial um, subject matter, but him sort of almost screaming in tears 
on stage. <laughs> You look at the man and you think this isn't necessarily a man that needs cancelling. Nobody needs a cancelling. It's a confusing word at the moment because some people do things wrong, whether it's, you know, physically wrong, breaking the law or, or doing stuff like corruption and stuff like that. They get quote unquote cancelled and they claim cancel culture is, is creating this situation, but it's actually people being held accountable. Now there's the other side of things where someone will say something or somebody Will utter some words and the internet will try and take away their living and try and remove them from their positions and I think that you know nothing's black and white right so there are elements of that that, that are very destructive as well clearly to me a man like Kanye West right now does not need anything other than a bit of kindness understanding and perhaps just moving away from him obviously I'm now talking about him on camera to, uh, on a video so perhaps I'm being hypocritical myself but I don't see if we're people who, who, who talk about mental health, who, who espouse, you know, being open and honest about this sort of stuff. And so much of what you see about mental health these days is about depression and anxiety. I'm very familiar with these things. But we also, we also must understand that bipolar disorder is on a completely different level to those things. Okay, And that's not to dismiss depression and anxiety. I suffer very, very badly with a, an anxiety disorder, and, you know, to this day. But I'm also aware that, uh, you know, bipolar disorder is on a different level. It's on a much more severe level and shouldn't necessarily just be grouped in with all that sort of stuff and cannot be cured or helped by a vicious social media cancelling or, um, you know, everybody uh, kind of throwing Kanye out with the bathwater. In my opinion, this is a man that needs kindness. And you can say this is a man that needs help. But how do you help him? when you have a man that basically has infinite resources and infinite reach. So somebody else who has bipolar disorder who just has a normal life, obviously you don't have a normal life, you have bipolar disorder, but you know, just they're not, they're not known. They have a manic episode, it's gonna affect friends, family, themselves, obviously. It can be isolated. Most people would never know. When Kanye West has one, and you could argue that, you know, some of this has driven him to his greatness, but when Kanye West has one, he, he not only has the notoriety and the reach, but he has the resources to take it to a presidential campaign. So how do we as an audience, as fans, as, as a community help? We, we, we probably can't. I mean, realistically, there's not a lot we can do. We can't reach the guy. It's impossible. So that's why I, when I see somebody like JPEG Mafia saying, ultimately, they're just a bit worried about him. And that has been a prevailing message that I've also seen on social media, perhaps even more so than people dismissing Kanye and people throwing him away from what he said. I think most people are just worried and I think that's probably the best course of action in terms of discourse. But in the same guy, I totally understand. If you're done with him, because you shouldn't have to as a person, whoever you are, especially as a black American person, but anybody, really, you shouldn't have to endure this just because somebody is ill. It's not, it's not your responsibility to endure this. If it upsets you to hear this and you're saying, I can't deal with Kanye West anymore, I'm not interested in this person anymore, I don't want to be a fan of him anymore, I don't want to listen to his music anymore, I think there's a completely understandable way to think and you know, it's a perfectly correct way to think. I would just also say there's no necessity in, in, in to pile on on a man that I think is clearly unwell take the you know by all by all means take yourself out of the conversation take yourself away from him as much as possible it's very difficult to get away from somebody with that much reach but at the same time destroying him on social media creating a culture of hatred around him it's not going to help that's what i'm saying it's not going to help anything it's not our responsibility to help him but at the same time realistically no outcome no good can come from cancelling kanye west until he actually follows through with actions that are extremely damaging. And if that happens, then, then the conversation changes. I am not justifying anything he says. I want to re reiterate that regardless of bipolar disorder, I think what he said was outrageous. I thought that what he said is extremely ill-informed. And while there is part of me that can kind of appreciate at least what he is trying and failing to say on that platform, you do have a bigger responsibility, regardless of illness, regardless of anything, to be much clearer with your thoughts. You cannot just throw everything out there in this climate to that many people. You just can't. And that and that's the reality of the situation. So these are my thoughts. I don't think it helps anybody, anything, the, the conversation, the topic, the man, the culture to cancel Kanye West. But we shall see. 
where this saga goes from here. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. It'll probably be a bit of a controversial video. Um, you're gonna expect more of this type of series on the channel, more conversational videos, more chat, uh, as topics come up in music and, and, and perhaps beyond as well this kind of reaches out a little bit beyond that and by all means you know uh, my my point of view could well be dismissed as a white english person so that's absolutely fine and understandable in this situation too thank you very much uh, for watching guys i'll catch you uh, on another reaction video or another video soon